In this video we will see how to use the PDF Creator. It is a simple two-step process, first creating a custom template and then using it through the workflow. Let us consider a simple scenario to create a customized sales invoice which would be sent by email to the specific user. To create a template for the sales invoice using the PDF Creator, go to Studio Console, click PDF Creator and click Add Template. Here you can see some ready templates that you can preview and use. Or you can create your new template from a blank page. For this example, I will be using the basic template I created using the blank page. It is a simple sales invoices template. To start with, note that the template page has a single add button under variables and a single add button at the bottom of the page. The add button at the bottom of page allows you to add a new page. Now within the page you can add the containers that give you a way to organize the layout of the page like adding a number of resizable columns. Within this page you can add the other components like title, text, heading 1 heading 2, table and so on. You can use these to design your page as needed. You can also add the header and footer for each page using the page settings. Variables are important part of your customization. In this sample template there are four variables that I have already added. I now want to add another variable for total amount. There are two ways in which you can add the variables. One is under variable, select text variable and add total. You can use this in the invoice table by simply adding double curly brackets and adding the variable from the list. Second method is to add a new text variable within the page by creating it within double curly brackets. It gets added to the text variables list. If you need to add company logos, product images and so on to your document, you can use the photo variables. Click photo variables. In this invoice we are going to get the product image. Hence I am adding the photo variable. Now go to photo settings and choose the sources variable source and select the photo variable. Now once you are satisfied with your template you can save it. Remember that the template needs to be published before it can be used in your workflows. So, click publish and add an appropriate release note. Now let us use the template by adding it in the workflow. Now let us see how the PDF creator generates the PDF dynamically. I have a form to submit product details. I have a submit button here, to which, I will link the workflow to generate PDF on form submission. Now you would need to create a workflow that will use the template. Add the workflow to your screen and select the task generate PDF. Add a self-explanatory task name. Under template to use, select your template name. You can also set the custom name for the PDF generated. You can also encrypt the PDF by using set user password. In the configuration the most important part is configuring the variables. These can be the fields from your forms or sheets. You can also make use of the data option to fetch the appropriate values. Here I am adding the form controls that would be linked to the variables in the template. Click done and your task is ready. I will add another task here for email task to send the PDF generated to the specified user as attachment. Provide the task name and select the user to send email to. Enter the subject and email body. Now we want to add the file as attachment. It can be accessed through the data option as the workflow name.pdf link. Click done. Now your workflow is ready. Now whenever you submit your form the invoice would be generated in PDF format and sent to the specified email as attachment. Let us now run the form and see how it works. Add the product data, upload the product image and click submit. In a few minutes the user would receive an email which has the PDF as an attachment. You can now see the PDF created based on our template. It has all the values and images submitted from the form. Now you know how to use the PDF creator to generate different customized documents. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. For more videos visit our YouTube page.